It's happening. It's really happening. How are y'all doing? He's heating up. He's on fire. All right. Before we get into this video, two things I need you to do. First, make sure you click subscribe if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel. Also, give this video a thumbs up. Let's get it over um, 200 likes. We could do 200 likes. Look at it. Are we at 200 likes yet? I don't know. You tell me. Also, this third um, request is an option. If you want to game with me, join a great gaming community, become a sponsor, patreon.com backslash Obi-Wan Plays tonight with the sponsors. I wanted to play Warframe on the Switch, but Power Rangers came out. So I'm going to be playing Power Rangers for the first time on the Nintendo Switch, the new fighting game. Any sponsors have it. We can battle it out. I will be gaming on Twitch. I will be live streaming on Twitch. So right after you watch this video, go and follow me on Twitch, boy. All right, let's get to the news. Yuri Gamer is corroborating with the previous report of a nintendo switch pro and mini coming out and you're a gamer has more information i'm gonna share the article then i'm gonna share my thoughts um while i'm reading the article and afterwards so let's get to it the article from eurogamer.net reads two new nintendo switch models inspired by 3ds split evolution sources say when they talk about the split evolution i'm gonna explain it in a second all right it says this is from tom phillips i like tom phillips phillips with this british accent yesterday a wall street journal reported tip not one but two new nintendo switch models for launch as early as this summer bro that is just mind-blowing two models by this summer oh I'm excited. I always get hyped for new hardware, bro. Especially Nintendo hardware. No matter how I feel about Nintendo, I always get their hardware day one, bro. And a more powerful Switch? Come on, bro. I'm a, I'm a little nervous, but at the same time, I'm excited too because I'm ex I, I sort of expect what they're going to be doing. All right, it says, the upcoming models will represent both a cut price version of the existing Switch console and one with enhanced features target at avid gamers. Oh, I hit my chest too hard. The report concluded, speaking to Eurogamer, sources close to Nintendo have confirmed the report backs up what they've heard too. In principle, Nintendo's hoping to cater to the same two audiences it eventually evolved 3DS to serve with the 2DS and new 3DS XL. You had the regular 3DS in the middle, then the lower tier 2DS, and then the higher tier new 3DS XL. The 2DS. I always scratch my head with the 2DS. A 3D, you were promoting 3D, but you took out the 3D and still made it 2D. This is why I believe this report. You ain't gonna believe what Nintendo's doing with the Switch, the lower tier version. All right. On the cheaper option, let's look at the cheaper option. The, um, all right, this is the standard 3DS. The, this is the 2DS version of the Switch. So we got the 2DS playing in the background. Mm, 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 smart. S all right, on the cheaper option, first, yesterday's report suggested it would be aimed at casual gamers currently still using Nintendo's 3DS. The company is keen to move these players over to the Switch. <laughs> Nintendo's like, where's my 3DS? The 3DS is over there. I'm not going to go get it. Nintendo's like, stop playing your 3DS. We stop making game. You know one game they need to port to the Switch from the 3DS? Samus Returns, brah. 
They need to put that game in HD and put that on the Switch. But they're trying to um, stop you from playing your 3S. Coaxing you, come on, buy our new console. All right. Many of Nintendo's youngest fans who have bought cheaper versions of the 3DS, the 2DS, but rather than comparing it to a 3DS, Nintendo is, I'm told, this is what they told Tom Phillips, keen to recapturing the 2DS value proposition. Similar to 2DS, the Unit's design will be sturdier than current Switch models in order to be kid-proof. Um, Nintendo um, kid-proofs their console. So I'm thinking, this is what I'm thinking. My kids took my Switch. My Switch is, oh, we got three Switches, bruh. Why are they always taking my stuff, man? But I'm thinking it won't have detachable Joy-Cons like I have in the thumbnail. It's just going to be one unit. <laughs> And it's going to be sturdier. So if it drops, um, it's going to be sturdier. And the proposition. One selling point with the 2DS was the price. The 2DS was going for like $79, $89, something like that. Don't be surprised if this new Switch hovers around not just the $199, the $150 price point. Nintendo could drop it that low. All right. Costs will be driven down by the removal of several features. Yesterday's report mentioned the system's rumble would be cut to save costs. Although it was unclear if this referred to the Switch's unique and more expensive HD rumble or any kind of vibration features at all, they're probably going to take it all out. Little kids don't even pay attention to that. My kids could care less. They just want to play the games. All right. But an even bigger change appears to be on the cards. As several people familiar with Nintendo's current plans have told me, pay attention when they tell Tom Phillips, the company has designed its budget switch for an audience which uses it in handheld mode only. But it's called the switch. No more switching on the switch. Uh, I mean, one, this can't be possible. No way. Nintendo's going to take out the switching component. It's called the Switch. You see what's playing behind me? This is supposed to be a 3DS with 3D. You know what Nintendo did? They took out the 3D in the 3DS. If they can take out the 3D in the 3DS, they could take out the Switch in the Switch. <laughs> it's going to be a handheld only system. That's going to really cut the cost. All right. Will you still be able to connect this new budget Switch to a screen, even if via some kind of additional peripheral? It feels a huge switch from the console's MO. Its name, that's what the article is saying, to drop the docking feature. But it's a change of the same magnitude we've seen with Explo the before with the 2DS. Like I just said, me and Tommy, we think alike. All right. Now, this is where it gets even more interesting. As for the new souped up switch, the one for, I'm not beating my chest hard, avid gamers, yesterday's report mentioned it would not be getting beefed up to the specs of either the PlayStation 4 Pro or Xbox One X, which shouldn't come as much of a surprise. I've heard, this is what Tom is saying, I've heard the bump will be comparable to the one received by the 3DS upon its new 3DS launch. And finally, there's no suggestion that this model might remove the TV screen docking. I'm thinking it's going to be an incremental upgrade. But I'm thinking this upgrade is going to be a little bit more powerful than the PlayStation base model. That's my prediction. Just predicting. All right, uh, we got to go to the beefed up model. Duh, just like the new 3DS XL. Come on, Obi-Wan. Get your video in sync with what you're saying, bro. All right. Nintendo planning two new Switch models may feel like a surprise, but this is the company simply heading down the same two paths it took with the 3DS. 
albeit this time at the same time usually nintendo does one new hardware iteration maybe who knows maybe we get the cheaper one in september and the more powerful one for the holiday season we don't know yet bruh you don't work at nintendo your cousin don't work at nintendo your mama or daddy don't work at nintendo you don't know all right as nintendo gears up for a big holiday first party software launching at, bro this holiday season is going to be lit you got animal cross the game that i'm most anticipating is zelda Link's awakening gg no re pokemon sword and shield still not really sold i'm not a pokemon fanboy um i still haven't even beat pokemon let's go so i'm of course i'm gonna get pokemon sword day one but luigi's mansion 3 is gonna be lit too it makes sense to cater for the broadest audience as possible soon as possible when contacted a nintendo spokesperson told eurogamer we have made no announcements and we do not comment on rumor and speculation that means it's happening when it's wrong nintendo be like we ain't say that that's false i think but this all sounds dope man um definitely I might, man, I got three switches. Are we going to have five switches in my house now? I might get both models, bro. I just might get both. You know what I wish Nintendo had? Game sharing. I'm going to do another video talking about the features Nintendo should have. But this sounds lit, man. I'm definitely getting the more powerful version. This is all I want, Nintendo. Come on. Let me play 2K smoother than the hot mess i experienced last night let me tell you guys <coughs> me and the homies the sponsors we've been on 2k almost every night and we've been on the xbox 2k heavy um playing games bro when we turned on the switch version yesterday and we tried to get online games in we said we we're gonna go for three games halfway through game one was like nah bro we done we done oh my goodness i'm talking about shoes dudes shoes popping on and off glitching in and out costumes messing up the frame rate was erratic it was just a mess bro and so definitely um i think we just need a more nintendo needs a more powerful console i just want and i said this on um twitter i don't care if it's not a 4k console it would be nice i appreciate the 4k pop but just give me smooth frame rate in games bro you tried to play fortnite on the switch i'm gonna try to play it tonight maybe with the sponsors but man it's it's no it's not even fine when you're not in combat but when you get in combat oh the frame rate just goes everywhere oh my goodness all right what do you guys think of this new report of the new switches sound off in the comment section below i want to know but before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We out, boy. Somebody need to tell Miss Switchy uh, she needs to put on some clothes. Just saying.